Okay, so here I am at the machine and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can machine applique. So I, first I put, um, I change my thread color to match my applique piece. I'm going to be doing the leaves. I keep my bobbin white or neutral or whatever, it doesn't matter what's in the bobbin. I just change the color at the top. So this um, one way is to do really easy is just a straight stitch, kind of like your top stitching. And so you just put your piece under there, put your needle down, and I use an open toed foot. It's number 20 on the Bernina because I like to see exactly where my needle is going when I'm doing machine applique. I want to see what's going on there. So all I'm going to do with matching thread is I'm going to do like two stitches and back stitch two stitches and then just use the edge of this, the middle edge of this foot to go around as your guide. And I'm just simply pivoting my block. This is by far the fastest way to applique. Just the straight stitch. I just use my right hand to lift my presser foot when I pivot. Go around. If you wanted to, you could lift that up and move across underneath the circle to the stem or to the next leaf. And that doesn't that won't show because the circle will cover it. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. But I like to use a matching thread. Um, I try to use it the exact color. If I can't find the exact color, then I'll go a little bit lighter usually. But see how when the circle goes down there, it covers that up. So it's pretty slick. When you end, I would just back stitch a couple of back stitches again, right on top of your stitches. So that's what it looks like that way. It kind of is fun. It gives it a little different dimension because these edges lift up, but because your edges are already turned under, it's nice and easy and secure when you put it in a quilt. Okay, so the other way is just to use a tiny zigzag around here, so I'll show you that next. So I'm gonna do these two leaves with the zigzag stitch. That's the second way you can do it. So I still use the matching thread, and I use a tiny zigzag, so about a two width and a one and a half length. And I just start so that part of the, so that most of the zigzag goes on the leaf. And again, it's important to use an open toed foot so you can see exactly where your needle lands. So this takes just a little bit longer, but it is more secure because it's doing the edges down. On this one, you can change your bobbin as well. Sometimes when you do a zigzag, it pulls up the bobbin thread in the top. So you can change your bobbin to be green or, you know, the same as your top thread. So basically, I'm just doing it all the way around. You can use invisible thread if you'd like. I don't like to use that because I like to press it and things like that. And I don't want to... So when I end again, I can just go, see how I folded my circle here. I'm just gonna travel over to the next leaf and then start again. And that's what it looks like with the tiny zigzag there on the edges. You could also use a buttonhole stitch on your machine. Um, you know, there's several different ways if you don't enjoy hand applique.